No peeking. I'm going to give this a quick try on before we head to Nightingale's. I've got to find a way to stop this wedding today. Looks like Tom's inheritance have come through. That is excellent news. Man, he's up there now trying on the dress. What am I going to do? I keep telling you, you're going to have to admit to Mandy that you're m m more, more of a roses man. Luke doesn't like the centrepiece at the wedding, and he's scared of telling Mandy, and I keep on telling him that honesty is the best policy. Hmm. Then why don't you tell me the pair of you tried to rob the loft on New Year's Eve? What? Is that why you got beaten up? Look, um. Shane came back and he threatened me to tell his boss that I was a snitch unless I came up with 20 grand. I told his boss and that's why Luke got hurt. He took my punishment for me. Yesterday, you looked me in the eye and told me that you had no idea Shane was still alive. How could you lie to me like that? I was doing it to protect you. Were you? Then why don't you tell the police that Shane tried to blackmail you? No, you were just trying to protect yourself. That is not fair. Shane's boss could have come after you and the kids. Now, I know it's hard for you to believe, but I did this to keep you safe. You now, sometimes it is better just to lie. You really think that? Yes, I do. Fine. Wait, 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 where are you going? We're supposed to be putting the offer in on the restaurant. Great, look what you've done now. <sighs> really? <laughs> Careful you don't touch the handbrake. Uh, what's the handbrake again? That is not funny. If I don't get this back to the dealership in one piece, I'll have to buy it. Oh, no, that would be so awful if you were forced to buy this absolute babe magnet that you can totally afford. <laughs> she is a beauty. It is a waste of money. Cars lose a value the minute you take them home. I read about that in my safe investments book. Wow, how did you ever get laid? Do you want me to draw your diagram? <laughs> I think you're being very sensible, Tom. Just because your money's come through doesn't mean you have to spend it all straight away. You can just let it sit in your, um, your current account, is it? For now. I've got a meeting with a financial advisor tomorrow about my options. Well, uh, if you don't want a car, why are you test driving it? Well, I like test crawling it. But Hunter made me do it. I don't know why I listened to it. Because I'm cool, you're lame, and if you don't let me help you, you're going to end up wasting a million quid on boring stocks and shares. But those stocks and shares are going to make me more money. What good is more money if you're too tight to spend it? You know what you should do, pay me to tell you what to buy. Personal shop. No, like a lifestyle guru. Oh yeah, that sounds better. Oh, being rich is a waste. You can't be so much better at it. You wouldn't be rich for long. You'd spend it all in a day. Yeah, but it'd be the most epic day that anyone has ever had. We're engaged, trying to prove to social services we can take proper care of Ella. If you'd have been caught... Oh, I'd have ruined everything. I totally understand if you want to postpone the wedding. Well, it is what you deserve. The truth is, I can't wait to be Mrs Morgan. Plus, it's not like there's been a real disaster, like my dress not fit in or the caterers cancelling. Right. You ready to buy a restaurant? Oh, to be honest, I've got a bit of a dodgy tummy. I've had a few close calls already. I'll be fine, but... I'm not risking taking you to the restaurant if you've got a stomach bug. We were all supposed to do this together. Now, Tony's at the hospital with Diane, which is fair enough, but Nancy and Darren don't even want to be in the same room together. Now, you can't come either. We're only putting the offer in. When it comes to the sale going through, we'll all be there, I promise you. All right. I suppose it's not that big of a deal. You stay here and rest. Don't forget to wash your hands. This time next week, I'll be a married business owner. <laughs> Finally getting my life back. Shocking, isn't it? To think that level of violence can happen so close to home. Appalling. Um, have you got the sentencing date for pushing your husband through the window yet? That was self-defence. Well, judging from your for sale sign, I'm guessing you're not very optimistic about the jury believing that. Oh, just get off your high horse, Simone. Do you know, if you spent as much time worrying about your own family as you do about everyone else's, you might have realised that your husband's love child was living just across the street just a tiny bit sooner. Hey. You gonna help me put the offer in or to scope the place out for a heist? 
don't you start as well. You nearly got my future husband killed. Oh, well. Why are you two loitering? You're going to put off potential customers. We're here to make you an offer you can't refuse. We want to buy the restaurant. Well, you, a minicab man. You might need a lift one day. Oh, it's so ridiculous. Actually, there's six of us clubbing in together, including Tony and Diane, who could run this place with eyes closed. Yeah, your little baby will be in safe hands. What, with you dressed like that? Anyway, I'm not interested in the big pitch. I just want a quick sale. Well, that's perfect, because we can't wait to get started. I can't wait to replace these plasticky blinds with some luxury curtains and get rid of that patio-type furniture outside. Well. Don't get too excited because I do have other offers. However, if you would like to secure this place, you will need a deposit of £20,000 by tomorrow. By tomorrow? Well, that's not possible. Oh, dear, I'm so sorry. And now my poor customers are going to have to put up with my patio furniture for longer. Stupid. Yeah, I did bad, didn't I? I'm so sorry to leave you in the lurch like this. Hey, don't be silly. I'm chuffed Adam's letting me see Toby for the afternoon. You never get to see him. You're so kind to me. I really don't deserve it. You're not going to believe this. I've just had a call from the bank. Someone tried to take 20 grand out of my account. No. That's terrible. Shocking. Do they have any idea who did it? Well, it's a fraudulent account, so they can't trace it. Look, is there any chance this could happen again? Oh, I don't think so. Whoever it was figured out my password, so the bank have cancelled the payment and generated me a new one. No one is getting into that account now. Oh. It's an absolute disaster. Marnie is deliberately trying to make things difficult for us because she's got it into her head that I was insulting her. What did you say? Well, I may have implied that the decor could be a bit classier, but it's true. And now she wants a 20 grand deposit by tomorrow. I've got no chance. <sighs> You've been looking at my wedding dress? No. Well, someone has, because I didn't leave it like that. <sighs> Who would do that? What is that on your hand? Did you ruin my wedding dress? Did you just pretend to be ill so you could stay home and do this? What is wrong with you? Are you trying to punish me for something? No. Then why? Why would you do it? This is about the wedding. Do you not want to marry me? No. Yeah, look, look the... The truth is I... What? It was an accident. Just get out! Mandy... I just go! I've just been trying to call you. Went to the hospital, they've got no record of Oscar being admitted. Well, that's because he's at the babysitter's. Well, is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. There was no accident. Well, why did he say... It was just a little lie. I mean, you're allowed to tell them, so I figured, why shouldn't I? Well, so you told me that our son was in hospital to get back at me. I did it because I wanted you to know what it feels like to be lied to by the person you're supposed to trust the most. Oh, hey. Did you put the offer in on Lighting Girls yet? Um, yeah. Me and Mandy tried, but Marnie wanted 20 grand deposit up front. Otherwise, she's going to sell it to someone else. That's totally unreasonable. Yeah, speaking of which... Even between the six of us, there's no way we could raise that kind of money in a day. You could give them the money, couldn't you, Tom? That's a great idea. You took care of me for half my life. It's about time I paid you back. <laughs> hey, that's a lovely offer, but you really don't have to. It doesn't have to be a gift. Just a loan. I thought you really wanted that restaurant. If you really don't mind? Of course not. I want to do this for you. Yeah, that's amazing. One day, Tom's off good. Is that your wedding dress? <laughs> not anymore. You done to? 
I didn't do anything. Luke did. He's obviously trying to sabotage the wedding because he's not man enough to tell me he's getting cold feet. Yeah, well, that's... Insane. Yeah. How about lying to your husband that your son's in hospital just to teach him a lesson? That's what Nancy did to me today. Yeah, it's pretty extreme. But then you did try and burgle the loft. Oh, not you as well. I was doing it to protect my family. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> well, Luke did. He risked our entire future to help you, and I forgave him instantly because I was that desperate to marry him. And the whole time he was having second thoughts. Such an idiot. No, no, you're not. Luke loves you. You know that. Yeah? Then where is he? Why isn't he here trying to fix this? I mean, they're not worth fighting for. Hey, of course you are. Hey. Look, you're like the perfect woman. Right? You're smart. You're funny. You're ambitious. Hey. You're beautiful. When you haven't got puffy eyes from crying. <laughs> Thanks. Look, he's obviously just freaked out, okay? He's a bloke. That's what we do. It doesn't mean anything. It does to me. I can't risk him hurting me again. The wedding's off. What's going on? You said it was important. We're celebrating. Someone should tell your face that. Mm. I'm lending you the money for the deposit on the Nightingales. Great. Where's Mandy? Darren's gone to tell the good news, but it's probably just an excuse to get away from me. Mm. Hey, I thought you were supposed to be seeing your son today. Change of plan. I'm going to take on a little trip tomorrow instead. So, you wouldn't let me have Toby today. Well, how about tomorrow? I know I messed up. Understatement of the century. But I'm never going to be able to make it up to Toby if you won't let me see him. He needs his mum. One hour. Yes! Thank you. You won't regret it. I'm getting paid tomorrow, so tell Toby I'm going to take him somewhere really special. Bring it over to the table, mate. Expect me to just put my life on hold until he's ready to talk. He's not even thinking about what I'm feeling. Mandy, you just calm down. This morning I had the rest of my life mapped out. I was going to get the restaurant, I was going to marry Luke, social services were going to see what a good place I was in, and I was going to get Ella back. Man Mandy. And now I'm not going to get any of that. Yes, you are. No, I'm not, because Luke... Stop. I've been trying to tell you. Everything is going to work out. You and Luke are going to sort this out, and we're still going to get the restaurant. What about the money? Your brother, local millionaire Tom Cunningham, is going to loan us the money for the deposit for the Nightingales. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, that means tomorrow I can tell social services that I am the owner.